Welcome to this new video, where I will show you how to transfer WhatsApp backup from Google Drive to iPhone in a very easy way, and can move WhatsApp to new phone and new number. Believe me, it's easy to do. Let's start with the video. Well, for us to transfer a backup from Google Drive to an iPhone for a WhatsApp conversation, we are going to use a professional tool called Imatrans. The app is free to download and available for both Mac and Windows. The link will be in the description so that you can download the application without any problems. Now, the Imatrans is here, and the truth is that the interface is quite easy to understand and use. We start by selecting the option to transfer directly from one device to another. We also have the option to backup our device either from the iPhone or Android and even transfer that local backup to an iPhone without any problem. However, we will use the third option here. We will specifically use the option to import backups from Google Drive. We can directly sign into Google Drive here. It is straightforward to do this either locally or through the cloud. We simply enter our information, for example, our email. And all of this is completely secure. Once we have access to our account, they will see that here we have the backup with all the necessary information. So let's click on where it says download and wait for it to finish downloading. Once it is finished, we will have it right here. And you can see that we have the backup ready to go. Now we have the option to restore it to the device or export it to the computer. In this case, the most important thing would be to restore it to the device. It can be an Android device or an iPhone. There is no problem here. The idea is to show how it is done on the iPhone. So let's click on continue and wait for it to prepare all the information so that it works correctly. Here, we simply need to enter the key number of the Google Drive backup and click on next. Let's wait a moment. Here, we can have a preview of all the conversations we have. And once we are ready and secure, we click on next and connect our device. That's all we have to do. We click on restore. Here, it warns us that if there is any information on WhatsApp on the iPhone, it will be erased, obviously by the new information that we are going to add from Google Drive. So let's click on continue, select WhatsApp Messenger, and that's it. Now we follow the steps and it tells us to deactivate Find My iPhone. So we do it, and once deactivated, you can see that the process continues. Finally, we click on done. And now, we only need to enter the WhatsApp application on the iPhone so that we can see that we have all the information that we had on Android. And you can see that everything is there without any problems, exactly as we had it on Android. This is the best option but we also have the option to do it directly from WhatsApp, which is more complicated, and we need to send everything by email. We go to the settings, then chats, and we have the option to export chat, where we select the chat we want to transfer and attach the files if we want. Then we can send the email ourselves. However, this is very time consuming and is not the best option. I think it is best to use the professional tool, so remember that the link will be in the description. And the application works very well and is quite useful. So, until next time.